So this is how to connect the system together for real-time telemetry and video synchronisation. So this is the uh, mini system on the boat and on the logger cradle you can see that we're making use of the radio port to connect in the real-time radio. So to change that connection you need to push the tabs together slide out the inner part of the cradle and then you can access the connections as normal on a junction box. Don't forget if you're leaving a connection unused make sure you put a ceiling cap on it before putting it back in the boat. So if you're using just the real-time radio, you'd connect that in here, or if you're just using the video synchronisation, you'd connect that in there. If you want to use both, then there's a socket on the real-time radio so that you can daisy chain the video synchronisation into the real-time radio so that you're using both systems at the same time. So, slide the log to the cradle. Turn it on, so we're starting a session on the water. So meanwhile, back at the PC on the launch, there are a couple of things you've got to do to enable the telemetry to come in. You need to make sure on the tools options that it's connected into the right serial port. And then on the tools options, you've got to enable the connector telemetry. And when you do, when it's all running, you'll see the data coming in in real time. So if we're doing video synchronisation, with the radio connected into the LANC port on the camera, when we press record, we should get a light coming on showing that it's synchronised to the video receiver on the boat. So if I move at about, then later when we download the session to the PC and we download the videotape to the PC, we'll get them automatically synchronised.